Tim DeStasio here. It's Psychrometric Saturday. We've been talking a lot about moisture here lately. We've been talking about absolute humidity, and there are two ways that we can read absolute humidity. There's dew point and grains per pound of dry air. Now, we've been spending a lot of time with dew point. We've learned that dew point is the temperature that if we cool that air to, that that air is saturated. It can hold no more moisture. And if we continue to cool that air below the dew point, then the water that's in the air, the moisture that's in the air, falls out of the air in the form of condensation. This time, we're gonna talk about the other side of the scale, the other way that we can read absolute humidity. And that's using grains per pound of dry air. We're just gonna call it grains. That is reading the actual amount of droplets of water that's in the air. That's a kind of a good way to think about it. So either way, if we're plotting a point on the psychrometric chart, let's say we're at 75 degrees, uh, dry bulb, 55 degrees of dew point. That's kind of our ideal indoor temperature. All we have to do is go to the right side of the scale and we can read what the grains are. In this case, it's 64 grains. Now there's a latent heat formula that we're gonna talk about next week that has to do with grains. It's one of the few times that you're gonna really have to deal with grains. Most of the time we talk about humidity, moisture in the air. I want you to think about dew point, especially when you're doing diagnostics, but there are cases when we do need to use a formula that uses grains. So both of them read the same exact thing. As you can tell, there, it doesn't matter where we are on the dry bulb scale, we could be at 80 five degree dry bulb we could be at 65 degree dry bulb the dew point and the grains stay the same that is exactly the same thing as saying okay we've got a four cup container of water here we've got two cups in it now if we poured two cups into a three cup container we would still only have two cups of water if we poured it into a two cup container we would still only have two cups of water but if we go below the dew point, if we try to pour two cups of water into a one cup container, obviously a cup of water is going to spill out. That's the condensation process. But again, both dew point and grains of moisture are measuring the amount of humidity in the air. It's not relative to temperature or any other thing. Doesn't matter what size container you have two cups of water in, you're always going to have two cups of water. That's all we're gonna get into this time. Stay tuned for the next episode of Psychrometric Saturday.